屋上のゆりれいさん。さちさん、大好き。And that's the one that, heard, that we heard the most so far for some odd reason. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful day. Welcome back to everyone's favorite kind of spirit on everyone's favorite kind of roof. Of course, the kind with spirits on the roof. Sounded better in my head. Uh, zombie, zombie. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, welcome back. This might be the final stretch. This might be, we are approaching outer heaven, basically, in Metal Gear Solid terminology. We opened the planner and we have unlocked every single apple in the last, uh, what was it, like two to three episodes, I think. So now, it is up for us to consume the last bunch of apples. And the question, of course, is which one do we start with? We have, we might start with that, actually, uh, to wrap up Ma Maki. I still don't know who's Miki and who's Maki, that's the problem. Supernatural Girl is probably gonna be really damn good. Probably some gonna be something related to her and Nina, maybe. Um Tsurugimine, we keep we save that for last because she's the fucking best. Hina, oh, okay. Got a little bit of Hina there. We got Nina, which is gonna be really damn good, I assume. Did we have a apple scene with her before? With Nina? We didn't, right? So that would be the first one. And uh, idiots in love and weapon. Oh, we have two from Tsurugimine. I hope there's going to be a little bit more of that, though. So, yeah, I would say we start off with good old Miki Maki. Oh, yeah, we also have Hutano, which is pretty damn good. Okay, yeah. Let's start off with um, Maki Miki. Love letter. Oh, from her perspective now. That's going to be interesting to see. I looked right, looked left, looked up at the ceiling and finally looked down, and then... I tried to force the breaths bursting out of my chest to leave quietly, but it wasn't having, having a bit, a lot of luck, how could I? I mean, this is... it's... I had finished my work with the beautification committee and for once nothing else, and returned to my classroom to head home when I'd noticed something odd about my bag, I'd getting, gotten a little nervous. I wonder, wondered if someone had played some prank on me. But this, this, the thing that was inside my bag. It was a rather plain envelope, the quality of which I noticed before anything like a cute design. Oh yeah. It was addressed to me. At first I was suspicious of it, but when I looked over the envelope and the contents of the stationery inside it, my cheeks immediately grew hot. Dropped it like it's hot. Even in just two or three lines, the writer's heartfelt intent had come through. But I read, but I'd read the letter over again, wondering if I'd misunderstood something. And then, my heart started pounding uncontrollably. Actually, I would like to know what she wrote, but apparently we don't get that. <laughs> I was so bewildered that each letter seemed to dance in front of my eyes on the page. Nah, no, it's, it's exactly that. <laughs> On the surface of my mind, I managed to think such calm thoughts as... How serious and charming is it to handwrite a letter these days instead of texting? And that's quite nice. But the rest of me was incredibly, incredibly confused. But I mean, if you don't have the freaking number of your love interest, how else would you do it? And, you know, of course, you're gonna do it with a love letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's also why she didn't know how to basically respond to it, I guess. I recognize the name on of the sender. I've always been pretty talented at remembering people's names and faces because you do everything for everyone. But this was this girl was a new student that I'd found lost in the school during our during the first era of Tamriel. I remember showing her around then. I only met her that one time, spoke to her just that one time, and yet she. Grab her and never look back. The fact of the matter is that she's attending the school, meaning, obviously, she's a girl. Oh, we're going with that again. In other words, the first love letter I've ever received came from an underclassman of the same sex. Really? I felt my face heating up again as I read over the words once more. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You said the, your, her, her heartfelt content came apparent in the first couple of lines, so probably more than that. Summarizing the letter brought me to that conclusion. It can't exactly be called a love letter if she just wants to thank me, not confess her love or anything like that. Right? I understood that intellectually, but... I looked to my left and my right again, checking my surroundings. Thankfully, that club activities had mostly ended and there were no prying eyes to see me. That was why I was able to keep standing there, reading over the letter again and again, reading it so many times I wondered if the sweat on my hands would stain the paper. Oh. <laughs> Caught it. I thought my heart might stop when I heard a voice from the hallway. I'm sure I already looked pretty suspicious and the only reason I hadn't shouted aloud was that I'd been so shocked my reflexes hadn't been able to keep up. Not anymore. Well, maybe apparently when this comes online because I don't know when. I hit the letter of Sono Sensei's view and stuffed it into my bag and then... Then then? Alright. Flew out of the classroom quickly but not actually running. Yeah, because no running in the hallways. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your letter? <laughs> Sona Sensei watched me dubiously as I left, so flustered I must have looked like an idiot. I rushed past so quickly I couldn't quite see her face, and I hope she didn't see mine. <laughs> oh, Alright. I ran into the bathroom, flew into a stall, and when I was finally alone again... <laughs> suddenly, well, that was a little bit later on, but suddenly Kobo, uh, Kobo, Koba and... Has, I had to take a little bit of a break of the game, but you know, uh, the scene in the toilet with, uh, in the toilet stalls with Koba and... Aki, there you go. No matter, no matter how many times I read it, I couldn't stop feeling shocked. My heart pounded, my face, face flushed, and the toilet, and in the end, I almost felt like crying. It was the same when I read it back in the classroom. The letter only said that she wanted to meet me one more time, that was all it said, and yet... The moods painted by the letter's content seemed to indicate to me, from my common sense... Yeah, well, obviously. I whispered her name deep inside my heart, just that was enough to get my to get the corners of my eyes feeling hot. Only, it wasn't from happiness or anything nice like that. I almost felt like I wanted to condemn her. All right. That's a little bit weird. It's actually cool because you didn't get like any input actually from either of them. So last time, well, you know, we got a little bit. We know that uh, Ma yeah, that Maki and Tina are basically friends, uh, which is pretty damn cool to see because we also didn't get don't get much input from um, Hina and like her circle of friends throughout the game. But yeah, we didn't get any input from Miki how she was basically feeling, you know. Maki doesn't take it for granted. Okay. Okay. The feelings inside me were thrown into stark relief by the letter. It was even I was even thinking those things about the sender of this incredibly earnest letter, but for a moment I wondered, would I would I have been so shaken had it come from someone else? <laughs> Mm 
頼って途方に暮れていたはずなのにでもあつらつとした子だってすぐ分かった少し一緒にいただけで私の気持ちまで明るくなるようなグッドインディケーターそんなあの子の書いた手紙だから私ここまで揺さぶられているのかしら Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you wouldn't expect her to be that honest in a letter. Maybe that's why. I calmed the emotions swirling in my breast and shut them away. And I read the letter one more time. Also, a good start for a horror movie, actually. I read over the words near the ending again one more time. If I go to see her, what does this first year plan to say to me? If, it is, if this isn't a love letter, then she probably really does just want to thank me again. But if it, if it really is, will she confess her love to me? For, for real. And I'm very interested in that. That's good. What would she tell me with those br bright, honest eyes and words of hers? I don't know yet. I don't know how I should respond to her. But I'm sure the words she has to say are affectionate ones. Words she wants to say to me so that we can grow, grow closer. It said so in the letter. What should I do? My heart was wavering now, maybe even more than, than when I first thought it might be a love letter. It was with ad admiration for the person who wanted to know more about me and hope. Hopeful? Thinking that make me, makes me feel a little pathetic. <laughs> She's kind of in the same mind state where that Yuna was, you know? I want this first year who I've only seen once who was impressed by my kindness to understand the feelings I have hiding in my heart. The ones I've never shown to anyone else. Oh, I'm hoping for that. I will probably know. Surely go on the roof on Thursday. And I want to hear Maki-san's words. I will probably accept them no matter what they are. Even if it's impossible to accept them all, which you did in the end, I don't think I'll be able to deny them either. <laughs> Can you imagine the inner monologue that Koba would have in this game? <laughs> would be like, ah! <laughs> I honestly wanted, want to see her, to see Maki-san. It's true that I feel this way. I'm certain that I admire her honesty. I want to hear what she has to say to me, her words from me. <laughs> I quietly said, slit the letter into my bag. I just need to calm down for now. I need to make a decision that won't hurt her and won't hurt, won't hurt me either. But I don't know if I'll be so determined when I meet her in person again. With that uncertain thought, I watched the setting sun outside. Alright. So a little bit more input from Miki, which was definitely welcome. Um, okay, let's check if we have another one of hers so we can finish that off first. Um, just making... Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Aihara and Inamoto. Didn't know they were acquainted, but alright. Alright, I'm into it. So I guess we make this, like, character characterized, you know? I'm gonna play everything from Aihara and then... Depending on how long it takes, next episode I'm gonna play play the play play the next character. This happens all the time. I know, right? Someone asked me to do something, and when I'm heading back to my classroom afterwards, someone else asked me to do something else, and it's usually another delivery. Today is actually a lighter day, since I don't have poor favors upon poor favors upon poor favors to take care of. So I understand Spanish people.
I got a better grip on the box in my hands before it could slip free, but then the contents threatened to spill out because of their weight. The box was full of biology prints, printouts and the wood-free paper. Wood free paper? They used was much heavier than I was used to. Taking them to the second floor was, well, the same sort of thing I always do, but I was less and less sure I could handle the weight of everything. When I started feeling despondent, oh, sorry, and pondered setting the box down to take a brake, hey? the weight, weight suddenly lifted. I looked up, realizing that someone had picked up the other end of the box and found a familiar face. She sounded completely different. <laughs> Her hands holding the box were steady and I, and I didn't think she'd let, let go even if I told her I could do it by myself. And doing it together would be much easier. Miyu, she's been a classmate since last year and she's someone I can honestly call a friend. Well, that's already said, I guess. I shifted over a little of the box way to Miu. This is enough, right? Miu's been considerate to me, considerate to me, like this since we were second years. And that's not all. I think she's, uh, she's seen through at least a little of my inner feelings, though it's hard to say how much. It's been the same ever since we became friends. She understands what's in my heart and worries about me. I wonder if that's why. Why I play why I pay a little more attention to her than to other people. You could even say I watch her. Well that's falling on deaf ears. <laughs> I wonder if that's why. It look it looks like that way to me. Her face right before mine over the box between us, her breathing, her voice, her gait. It all seems more cheerful than usual. <laughs> I thought she'd notice. M Mio's that kind of person, though, yeah, well, of course she's, you know, keeping track of everyone in the track team. Got it. Though I was only half trying to change the subject, the other half of me really thought that. She's one of the top sprinters in the country and the vice captain of our track and field team. She even does the training programs for the team instead of Matsuri, their captain, I think. She's like the coach. It's like... It's just like Miu, sometimes I think she's more suited to looking after other people than looking after herself. She's cool and collected, good, ab good at observation and anal anal analysis. Come to think of it, I think she was fretting about improving her track times recently. Is that why, it's th is that why she's been down? You just said she's looking cheerful. No, I shouldn't ask that. She probably doesn't want me to ask like I don't want her to ask. We, all, we understand that about each other. Mio's that type that won't cuddle someone if they don't want it. So as long as I do the same with her, she won't pry. Even if our personalities and ways of thinking are different, we have that in common. Doesn't seem that much different, actually. What do you mean, like politics or something? Would you say our commonality is that we are both worry wards? Um, well, and that we both avoid relying on other people. Yeah, that's why they rely on you. Well, actually not on Mio, though. In my case, it's just because I'm bad at it, though. <laughs> Is that why I can why I can be friends with her? It's not bad. Even when we don't have a have a box in the way, I think we interact with an unspoken bit of distance between each other. Oh yeah, with honorifics, I guess. Didn't even realize. And it's because I'm talking to Miyu that I can say something close to what I'm really thinking. <laughs> now that I actually like listen more closely to Miyu, she kind of sounds like Nena. <laughs> when it gets right down to it, we are we are the same in that we can't cut corners or any on anything. It's not often that you that you're friends with someone who shares the same hardships as you. 
for just a bit more. But was that until we carried the, this box to the reference room or until we retired from our team and comma team? The w <laughs> they were my own words, but now that I think back on them, I'm not sure which I meant. We both laughed at them too. One more thing we have in common. Okay. So basically classmates and just as just as anticipated, basically, like Mew is the only one who doesn't um, abuse the kindness of uh, Miki. Definitely a good thing. Um, it was June. Let's see if we have more in July. Yeah, I totally skimmed over Mew, by the way. So we also have more of Mew. I don't think we have more of Matsuri. No, we already played that. Ah, Aihara and Aryu. Ooh. Yeah, like the interaction with <laughs> with Aryu and Tsurugimine was fucking amazing. And by the way, the thing is, you know, we we saw that we unlocked um, Miki's storyline right here. And then, you know, we have more stuff spread out over the certain months. So that means we have two. Two from Tsurugimine. With possibly like more stuff also strewn about the different months. Let's get to it. I had an audio. It's hot. Above me was the striking summer sky and sun so bright it dazzled my eyes. The sunlight practically shone through my head. Or not, well, never mind. I was about to say, maybe not wear something over the shirt, but I guess, I guess that's policy. The school isn't very strict, never mind, about what we wear, so I probably wouldn't get in trouble for it, but it's true that there aren't too many people here with one. But while I'm here at the school during vacation, some... During vacation... Okay. Uh, sometimes I think I should do that. Not that the sun seems to be affecting my helper, Aki-san, of the disciplinary committee much. Ah, okay. But at least when I'm watering the flowers, the spray from the nozzle keeps me nice and cool. Think about that, by the way, since you know I'm a big fan, like my favorite movie franchise of all time is actually Drew on the Grudge. There is a part where a girl is actually, like the first time uh, Kayaku appears is in a short movie. Now it wasn't 444444444, -4 that was where Toshio actually comes in and kills someone, but there's a part from a, for, where a schoolgirl actually like uh, is feeding the... Is feeding a rabbit from school, which actually, by the way, also appears in Ju on the Grudge. Either it was one or two, by the way, which is pretty damn cool. Just saying, by the way, that just remind, remind, reminded me of that. Nearby, Aki stood with perfectly posture, undaunted by the strong sunlight. She was talking to a girl who must be her friend. Oh! <laughs> Told ya. Me and Yuka, you know, we, we got that we, we got that slang going. <laughs> they were kind of an odd pair. I never expected to see Aki-san famous, famous as the morning gate guard, waving someone off with such a bright smile on her face. Is the other girl in the music club? Her outfit's a bit more unique than most. Yeah, they definitely are not strict with the with with what they wear, obviously, if you look at Koba. Uh, her outfit's a bit more unique than most, even with our school's lax dress code. She seems opposite to, to Aki-san in every way. It's surprising to see the little smile Aki-san has on her face, too. It's a rare sight, but one that makes you feel blissful, blissful. I wonder who that girl is to have such a valuable smile directed her way. And she smiles even more. And later on a bit more. <laughs> Aki-san said with a, with a face like she couldn't contain that amusement, that one's pretty rare too. If she always looked like this, I think Aki-san would be much less intimidating and much more popular, though her position might still make it difficult. <laughs> After seeing the strange pair and this rare side of Aki-san, I had to voice my thoughts. I wasn't expecting the response I got either. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I 
How does she know? And how much does she know? I panic for a moment, thinking she might know. Oh, because, yeah, because, uh, you know, actually, I, I just remembered. I think it was during uh, the Ariyaki uh, era, where uh, we actually saw, or was it Miki? I think it was with Miki, where she was looking for a spot and she actually came across Ariyu. Yeah. I panicked for a moment, thinking she might know about Maki-chan's confession and how she kissed me. Well, she doesn't know that. Before I realized that we are always together when we work for the committee. It wouldn't be odd for her to have seen us working together. Oh, it was after the kiss, gotcha. Can you stop worrying for a second? Has any one of you guys played um, Rival Schools for the PS1, by the way? Because every time I see Ario Aki, maybe that's also because of her hair, I, she always looks like the little, like the sister of Heel. If you never, if you never played that, by the way, Rival Schools is fucking awesome beat em up for PS1. Look up Heel from Rival Schools. Look, she looks like her, like his little sister. Mostly because of the hair, and also the way she carries herself. Senpai? I thought they were the same year. Aiyara-senpai,そういう顔をさせてあげられるなら、マキさんとの付き合いは、先輩にとっていいことなんでしょうね。Aki, <laughs> telling you, with these little bits and pieces of her, it's amazing. Of course, I couldn't tell her that that we weren't just hanging out. But being vague about it got me a, a m more magnanimous response than I was imagining. In the end, I was still a little unsure of how to respond. She's famous. Fa <laughs> she's famous for being strict about time, but she says it's fine to be hanging out, hanging out with underclassmen when you should be preparing for entrance exams. My impression of Akisan was really changing today. <laughs> Well, we know why. Mostly overseeing Kobado. Headquarters. <laughs> we didn't see her, so Aki avoided that. The words came out as per usual, per my usual habit, maybe even by reflex, but Aki had a quick, firm response, yeah. Thankfully, this isn't Jewel on the grudge. Yes. How did they even contact her during the summer break? Huh? <laughs> Does she have a beeper? <laughs> but she said just breaks were okay even with Axum's coming up. Not that she's wrong though. It wasn't like she directly asked me to do it. She just told me that she wouldn't be able to make it. I'd gotten that one short text and I was just doing the, this watering with a little break I had between classes. <laughs> She said, running off to the storehouse to, well, the house, Jesus, to get another hose. This actually isn't the first time we'd had an exchange like this. We've met a few times and joined meetings between our committees. Aki-san always seemed somehow concerned for me whenever, whenever we had to work on something together. She's helped me several times while scolding me that I accept requests too easily. That isn't good for those asking the requests either. I think she's probably right. The empty school and summer vacation seemed to reveal a new side of her. It felt a little uh, a little refreshing. But I'm here just like usual after accepting a request from someone. So I think Aki-san's probably right, but... And that's why she accepted Maki then. Alright, got it. I muttered quietly as Aki-san grew farther away waiting for her return. I wonder if she thinks my relationship with Maki-chan will spark some change in me. Is that why she brought up Maki-chan before? 
Maybe she'd realized and pretended not to know or something, maybe not. You wouldn't normally think that way about two girls, right? <laughs> if you wouldn't know. The words were old-fashioned and probably meant something else, but I think there is some truth in them. Will I be able to change this summer? How exactly do I look when I'm with Maki-chan? Like that smile Aki-san had for Koba-san? I might be happy about that though. Just a little. Yup. And you know, just in the in the usual storyline that we had, we didn't even know how much, um, how meaningful Aki was actually to everyone else. Now it actually shines through. She has like interactions with almost everyone. Uh, I think that was everything for Ihara Senpai. It definitely sounded like it. It sounded like the departure, basic. Never mind. <laughs> Days without you. That was after. Okay, that's yeah. That's what I'm asking for. Like you know, more stuff after the initial um, lovemaking scene. Days without you. Let's check this. As October approached, the heat finally started to fade. The hallways after school losing their stuffy warmth. Yet, I was still stuck wondering how to wipe the sweat from my forehead. With both my hands full, I couldn't get out my handkerchief and the load was a bit too unwieldy to shift to just one arm. Didn't Sono Sensei say that she's gonna take care of it, that she doesn't have too much work on her hands? And didn't Maki step in for Miki earlier? Like, why is she still doing that? Maybe I should have just set it down for a moment, but it was too. It was so heavy. Uh, it'll have been a, a fair bit of work just getting it here. I didn't want to risk not being able to pick it up. I just have to bear with it and get it to the reference room. I quickened my pace a my pace a bit when the next door in the hallway opened. Ah. Oh, it's for her. So as they emerged and upon noticing my burdens, crouched her face up with some dissatisfaction. As per usual, have you learned nothing? Jesus Christ. Nagai Sensei. She's at an age where she probably would have retired at a public school, so I volunteered to carry the materials for her, thinking it would be best that she didn't do it herself. Ah, no, I don't know. Yeah, or is Nagai Sensei just something you totally made up? <laughs> it could be. Oh man. That's true. Okay, now I mind then. If it looks like my help isn't really needed, I won't accept the work anymore. <laughs> Did Maki's <laughs> Maki just terrorize everyone else too? <laughs> Wait, does she know? That day. Ah, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why Sono was, yeah, stepped in. The day Sena made a scene. Sono-sensei was aware of the event, of course, so she nodded in understanding. Ever since then, the mood of the people around me or how they look at me seems to have changed. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. <laughs> I love that face of Soto. <笑>私も相原さんがそんなに忙しいことになってるなんて気づかなくて。いや、いいんです。本当にもうあまり頼まれることを少なくなってますし。ただ実のところ、やることがなくなってみると何て言うんでしょうね。暇っていうのか<
It seems that I wasn't the only one quite busy before the school festival. We have that in common, I suppose. <laughs> Was what I'd said that unexpected? Sensei looked a little puzzled, but still held my burden for me. I took the opportunity to pull my handkerchief out and wipe away the sweat that had been plastering me. Maybe like take off the jacket? Just an idea. Refreshed, I took the things back from Sono Sensei, who gave me a mystified look, then nodded to herself as if coming to some understanding. What? Alright. Sure. Sono Sensei said to me after I'd finished making those material taking those materials to the reference room. Did she really think so? I couldn't really tell myself, though I I'd heard the same thing from someone else. Yuna. Or Maki? One of the two. And it was because of the of that someone that I... I don't know, my idea. That I was cha changing like this. No, it was... Yeah, it also kind of... Also kind of kind of was Yuna as well. Imagining Sena's fa face and voice, I put my hand on the pocket of my blouse. Which is a word that I fucking hate, by the way. She couldn't have known what was inside it, but Sono Sensei said. Oh. Oh, that's why you have that much free time. Yeah, makes sense. I tried to be nonchalant, but I. I still felt a bit of a bit bashful answering. I could feel a warmth different than the lingering heat of summer in my cheeks. And it's true that I haven't been able to see Sena at school. But we've been texting each other, she's been using her extra free time worrying about me. <laughs> I wonder if I should tell her about the help I've done today. Those are the sorts of texts we've exchanged. Still, I do want to see your face. I want to hear your voice. I want you by my side. She got it good. Kind of sad that we didn't get any scenes. Because, you know, basically, I think this is all captured by the ghosts. By, by the kindred spirits. So, that's why we didn't get any scenes from them at home. That's why it was so cool to see, actually, like, Yuna and... Um, fuck me sideways. Yuna and Ano, of course, in uh, in Yuna's room, you know, like uh, Yuna confessing to, not, not confessing, but you know, telling her the inner struggle that she had. It was that, that that's why I, that was really a really cool moment. Not only because you get like the real, um, you get like a real serious side to Ano where she was worrying about Yuna, but also because you know it was basically in the comfort of her own room. And it's kind kind of kind of kind of sad that we didn't get that we don't get to see them at their home because I actually would like to see their like places, you know. The sun was already low in the sky by the time I checked with the committee and returned to my classroom. It sets a, it sets a little earlier now, making it seem like the long summer is finally ending. A signal that axioms are approaching and with them many things to prepare for. By then, I was the only one still in the classroom. The empty classroom, lit by the setting sun, seemed strangely calming. I was a bit reluctant to part with it, but I needed to be going home to study too. I picked up my bag and touched my breast pocket again. I only started walking around with this four days ago, but it's already become a bit of a habit. Inside my pocket, like a charm, no, like something even more precious than a charm, was Sena's letter, the one she gave me in May, only a few days after we met. Oh, still. That's alright. The letter that sparkled as if each character had been engraved in gold, shining like the sun with the heartfelt feelings. Her. The shock I felt that day still hasn't faded. When I keep it close to me, I think of it near me, I feel a warmth rising up beneath my skin. Sena spoke softly as I, as if to send my words to her through the letter itself. Part of it is because of axioms, but more than that, it, I, I just think it's time for me to end that period of my life. Mm. 
When I whispered it out loud to Sena to her letter, it finally started to seem real. That and other things, all sorts of things. Good things, bad things, everything together. That was how much of my school life I'd been spent devoted to comedy work. Now that I've now that it finally feels real, I think I can say this, Sena. <laughs> Since. And this last one I met you. I was about to say, yeah, the last one, definitely. Now that seemed like the be all like the like the be all end all. Yeah, that was definitely after the scene. <laughs> yup. Alright then. I think that wraps up uh Miki. Weaponized cuteness. <laughs> God's sakes. Uh, okay, we have... Wait, do we have me? We don't have Miki before that. So I guess since... Yeah, okay, so we don't have her before that. So I guess we just wrap this up also with Miki. We have something more in October. That is actually... Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, because I was about to say, actually, I want to know what happened afterwards, you know? If, I, I know from the manga and from the drama CDs that we're definitely going to get into, by the way, um, that... They still were a couple afterwards, obviously, but uh, we can see how this transpired actually. So that is after, yeah, that, that was um, that is a retirement. If this gets touchy, I'm gonna punch someone in the face. <laughs> it began with those words from Inamoto Senpai and the bouquet she presented to Miki san. Ugh! Inamoto Senpai is the vice captain of the track team, right? お疲れ様、ミキ。ありがとう。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Got that. The other one with Inamoto Senpai is Amishima Senpai of the track team. Yup, the captain. Captain, my captain. Huh, so they've both re retired recently too. I think Hina mentioned that they stayed on until now because they are both such amazing athletes. Yesterday we had one of our regular meetings with the committee. Most committees elect their new leaders and have their third year members retire around now in October. <laughs> so Miki-san left the beautification committee yesterday too. She kept working really hard right up until the end and she even had a really cool parting speech. I was so touched I was actually about to cry. I kept it inside uh, of course since as soon as the meeting was over we still had Miki-san's last job to do. And the next day, Miki-san was finally released from all her work. I went to her classroom, about to tell her good job one last time, but... Now Amishima Senpai and Inamoto Senpai from her class are giving her bouquets. Crap, why didn't I bring her a bouquet? Stupid, stupid. How could you forget to give Miki-san a present for her retirement? Ugh. I really feel... Well, you're the present, basically. I really feel like I've lost to these track team seniors. But those two aren't the, the only ones celebrating Miki-san's retirement. Ooh. Oh, it's Aria senpai from the disciplinary committee. Jesus. Even Sono-sensei. But I didn't bring bouquets, though. Miki-san's amazing. None of these people are on the committee, but they are all celebrating her retirement. And they are not being sarcastic like she finally left, of course. They are really thanking her for her work. I guess this is the sort of situation where you'd say she'll be missed. Yep. Everyone's celebrating her retirement because they know how hard she's worked. Inamoto-senpai and Aryo-senpai even brought flowers, and I didn't bring anything. <laughs> Wasn't she before? 
Oh no, I'm disciplinary comment. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So she's taking over. いや、ちょっと怖そうじゃない。鬼の風紀委員長って感じで。祭りは卒業で良かったわね。ね。うん。ちょっとほっとしてる。あ、でもはい。<laughs> Miki-san really is amazing. The captain and vice captain of the Czech team, the president of the disciplinary committee, even a teacher. She's sur surrounded by such amazing people. Ah, I feel like I'm just an extra. I wanted to invite Miki-san to our hideout right away, but I can't really say it like this, can I? <laughs> oh, she's working alongside Aki, I guess. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> she won't get used by anyone, that's for sure. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 so I've gotten kind of famous. I don't regret it, but I'm not sure I want this troublemaker image for myself. So, <laughs> そう、そう。困ったことあったら私に何でも相談しな。どんなことでもいいからね。人間関係とかでもオッケーだよ。恋愛相談でもね。But you got one of the best love making scenes in the game, yeah. え、え。後でメアド教えてよ。私のも教えるからさ。ナンパみたいなことしてるんじゃないわよ、祭り。Oh, that's where you're going with this. いいよ。はい。Laughter rang out around me and Miki-san. It was kind of embarrassing, but I was kind of happy too. It felt like all of Miki-san's hard work was finally being acknowledged. That's why so many people are here celebrating her retirement. That's why they are ha so happy. I can be proud too of the help I gave Miki-san, that they are celebrating my precious Miki-san. From now on, I'll be a role model to the whole school and make Miki-san proud. Make Miki-san proud again. Something like that. It's like we finally made it. Beside the couch was a collection of bouquets Miki-san had received. None of them were super huge, but every one of them was beautiful. Do we get another lovemaking scene? Calm down. Miki-san sitting next to me wrapped an arm around my shoulders and pulled me into a hug. Maybe. Why? I'm happy, but why? Miki-san's voice was right next to my ear. みんな喜んでくれたんですよ。うん。セーナがいなかったらきっと私こんな晴れ晴れとした気持ちで引退できなかったもの。
どこか心に引っかかるものを残しながら受け取っていたんじゃないかしら悪く思われたくなかっただけだったって思いを引きずったままねミキさんそんなことセーナがいたからあの時セーナが私のために怒ってくれたから私全部吐き出せたと思うのあなたに好きだって言えたから今日こんなに嬉しい気持ちでみんなから花束を受け取れたんだわわ私<笑>そ,そんなミキさんのためにってわけじゃなくてあの時は本当に頭きてたからボーシェン<笑>一緒にできたってことじゃダメですかあの私も一緒にミキさんの引退を祝ってもらえたんです。Wait, that was the retirement gift? <laughs> あの私はほんのちょっとですけど。ね、yeah, sure. <laughs> Miki san hugged me a little tighter and I was buried in her chest a little deeper. そうね。セナと一緒に。みんなからの花束を受け取ったのね。その。お、oh,、sorry。な、ガッテメ。何、せいな。引退しちゃったんですね。ねえ。受験。頑張ってくださいね。ええ、頑張るわね。私ね。地元の大学に行きたいの。家からでも通えるようにね。卒業してからもセーナと一緒にいたいから。Yup。Exactly what I wanted to hear。推薦も頑張ればもらえそうなの。もし早く決まったら、冬休みは一緒に遊びましょうね。はい。卒業してからも、それからもずっと一緒にいましょうね。はい。Ah, these words are the words I'd only hoped to hear. I wasn't totally sure what would happen after Miki-san graduated. Yes, I didn't know what would happen if I were if we were separated. If Miki-san went to college in another prefecture, but I couldn't bring myself to ask her about that. But Miki-san will be with me forever. She wants to. Got it. Oh, Miki san's holding me tighter again, really squeezing. Miki san's scent is wrapping all around me. I'm starting to feel a little dizzy. If Miki san in Miki san's arms against her chest, being held, I'm getting filled with Miki san. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> A different sort of strength entered Miki san's arms. Miki san. <laughs> what? And I. Oh, toppled over on the c o u c h、oh, Okay, so maybe, yeah, we get another scene. Now I'm on top again. I pushed her down again. <laughs> Miki san looked up at me but kept her arms, arms together around my back. I'm gonna lose control again. I'll just do something, please. No, I'm not supposed to do something. I don't know, I don't know but. <laughs> I couldn't stop Miki san's lips from meeting mine. Basically, yeah. Okay, I like that. A little bit more privacy, basically. Okay. <laughs> Kinda similar to the primal stuff that we had between Aki and Koba. <laughs> All right, so that was Mickey and Maki for the final, basically. <laughs>